Right now, we're watching everything from the absolute bans on abortion to the more insidious ways that the states are trying to chip away at the right to abortion. And we're battling both at the state level and at the federal level. The Supreme Court recently took a case for review out of Louisiana, and it's a state law that's a TRAP law. The TRAP stands for Targeted Regulation of Abortion Providers. This means that it's a law that only goes after abortion providers and no other medical professional, just to single them out for different treatment. These laws have no medical benefit, but what they do is obstruct access to abortion by forcing clinics to close because they are not able to comply with them. And in the case of Louisiana, what that would mean is having one abortion provider in the entire state and pushing abortion care out of reach for so many people. It's incredibly important to know that a state doesn't have to ban abortion to push it out of reach. Didn't we just have a Supreme Court case about this very issue? If you're experiencing deja vu, you're not alone. The Supreme Court in 2016 struck down a Texas law that was virtually identical to the Louisiana law that's at issue right now. So this should be an easy case and the Supreme Court should similarly strike down the Louisiana law. Why is the Supreme Court hearing a case that's so similar to the one in Texas? We never really know what the Supreme Court's motivation is for taking a case, but we hope that they've taken this case to correct what the Court of Appeals did wrong. The Court of Appeals would have allowed the Louisiana law to go into effect. So we hope that the Supreme Court is going to correct that mistake. How is the Supreme Court different since that case was argued in Texas? President Trump vowed to appoint Supreme Court justices that would overturn Roe versus Wade, and President Trump has been able to appoint two Supreme Court justices. So the other side is betting that the Supreme Court has changed enough since 2016 that Roe versus Wade would be overturned or significantly undermined. And who's impacted most by these restrictions on abortion access? Low-income individuals, people of color, people in rural areas, young people. These are all the people who are going to feel abortion restrictions the harshest, and that's always been true. People with means can always travel someplace, go out of the country, even before Roe versus Wade, that was true. But people with the fewest means are going to feel the impacts most harshly. Is there any state that is doing a good job on expanding abortion access? There are some states that are absolutely doing that. Recently, Maine just expanded who can provide abortions to logically include advanced practice clinicians that were already providing similar care. So there are definitely bright spots, and uh, we will continue to push on these affirmative measures in various states as well. What can we do? There is so much that you can do, and I would urge everybody who wants to get involved to contact their local reproductive rights and reproductive justice communities, whether that's the ACLU affiliate in your state, your local reproductive justice organization, your local abortion provider, and see how you can help. What shows on television have you not been able to watch as a result of all the work that you've been doing? I've not been able to watch The Handmaid's Tale.